what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i got something for y'all i got something for y'all um but i'm not gonna reveal it yet um but i do have some good news coming up for the channel um so just stay tuned you might not find out until another month or so but i have something in the works something great that's gonna benefit us <laughs> as a channel but anyways um thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing on these haikyuu videos man so welcome back today we're gonna be doing um episodes 11 and 12 so i'm definitely digging this anime a lot um somebody had heard my suggestion of me like naming my videos like haikyuu from a volleyball players perspective or something like that or somebody who's played volleyballs i might do it i might not you know because i don't go back and change all those titles right now but <laughs> um but let's just say i'm keeping it in mind let's just say i'm keeping it in mind but right now let's go jump in and watch it watching these two episodes man um you know from my perspective there's a lot of things that are really done in this anime and done very well and just those moments of you know what I'm saying this this anime 10 episodes in and um I'm already feeling the feels you know what I'm saying like I'm getting in my feelings I'm I almost cried at a couple of scenes because sometimes you want that team spirit is very contagious and that's one of the things I love about sports it's very contagious to other people like people who you would never guess that would be in the sports you can introduce them to sports and they'll be like yo that's that's real right there like i turned my girl into a sports fan because she wasn't that into sports now she's a huge lakers fan for some weird reason but <laughs> you know it is what it is it is what it is um you know i followed the lakers franchise for years so it's like um i told her you can pick your own team to root for you don't have to root for the same team i root for so you know what i'm saying but she was like no i want to like what you like so I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Don't blame me if the, if anything happens. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's jump into these episodes, man. I don't have much to say. The anime is going in a very good dis direction. Um, I want to see this matchup. Hopefully this match starts in these two episodes, the cats versus crows thing. Um, and we get to see that. But anyways, other than that, loving this anime. And I'll see you guys for the review. Okay, so that was episodes 11 and 12. We got to see the beginning of the um, the match between Karasuno and Nekata. Nekata is Nekata? Nekata. Nekata, <laughs> I think. Nekata, or is Nekata? I, I, I think it's Nekata. Of the <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, but pretty 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 cool two episodes i just watched um mostly interested in the second episode why had more material period <laughs> you know um so i'm 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 glad about the the um the direction that you're going that's great narrative um direction that you're going tackling these things early they could have made them take a devastating loss but in a way i think this is the better it's better that this coach that they've got now, you know, Ukai's grandson, basically came in and see this stuff going on because if he didn't, you know what I'm saying, then he wouldn't be able to adjust because you heard what he said, he probably would have had to take him out the game because it's a game that matters. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, in my opinion, and I, as I said, I said it before, it was only a matter of time until a team figures this thing out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy to sit and think that, you know, it's easy to sit and think that, oh, that, that is the way to go. Or it's going to work all the time. But no, I never saw it like that. Anybody knows about anything hard in life, you may fig think you figure things out and that's when it gets harder. Because there's always going to be someone who's going to figure you out. You get what I'm saying? It's going to figure you out. Some things that you do might be unstoppable, but that's because you improve on it. If you're still doing the same thing over and over again, it's kind of like in, 
It's kind of like in basketball, right? Like in basketball, some players are absolutely unstoppable. Um, but in some games, you will see that um, they'll get stopped. You know, they might seem like they're unstoppable, but there's somebody that can hold them to a minimum amount of points, you know, on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, the instance of, um, you know, the Kawhi versus LeBron argument or stuff like that. Like, they both could guard each other very well. You get what I'm saying? They both respect each other as players. So, in my opinion, when it comes on to that stuff where, you know, talent is is going to be seem overwhelming a lot of times, like overwhelming ta talent but at the same time, in my opinion, when I see people who are really, really good at certain things, they still have to work on their other weaknesses. Because if you've ever seen anything, like look at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, greatest, one of the greatest heavyweight champions that I've ever witnessed, he was just a beast for three rounds. So if you can, if you can bring him past three rounds, you have a higher chance of beating my Tyson because his stamina was shit. His stamina was shit. But if he connects, you're going bye-bye. You're going nighty-night. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's just like a lot of people who are geniuses at stuff, they can still have weaknesses in their game that you can exploit. So with Hinata... He, he's fast and he can get there, but it's supposed somebody can time you and get there. Now you're being blocked by one guy. What are you going to do? And I like his outlook. You get what I'm saying? Instead of starting to doubt himself, he started to use that as motivation. He's like, shit, I thought I was going to be invincible. No, I got to work at this shit. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Because when I work at it, I'm going to get even better. You know what I mean? I'm going to get even better. So I'm not even worried about it. So I like his attitude towards it, man. That was really good. Um, and that goes to show you to use that in contrast of what Asai went through. He was mean up on all these blocks and stuff like that. And he just gave up. He literally gave up on volleyball. So now he's found his love back. He's back. But I still want to see if he if he's going to do the same thing. If he starts getting blocked again, you never know. So maybe because of what he sees with Hinata, Hinata might be that example for him. It's like, look, man, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. People can adjust to you. You're not always be overpowering everybody. People can, people can adjust to what you're doing, especially if you're dominating the same thing over, doing the same thing over and over again. People are going to figure you out, my guy. People are going to get your timing down, like in boxing. They'll get your timing down and knock you the fuck out. They don't care. And that's what I'm saying. But you got to be able to get back up and say, listen, okay, let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is invincible in sports. And, and that's one of the things that my coaches used to tell me. Like, nobody is invincible in sports. No matter how talented they are, you are not invincible. You will lose some. You can't win all the time. You will lose some. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, a lot of people that have been watching the last dance and stuff, cause my, my thing, my thing is this, right? When it comes on to Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Even though I, I believe he's the greatest of all time, he's the goal to basketball. People tend to forget that he used to lose people. Just, they just go to the six championships. He's six and zero in the finals and just, that's all they dwell on. And I'm like, if that's your only argument for him being the goat. You get what I'm saying? If that's your only argument for him being the GOAT, you're going to lose every time. Bill Russell won 11 out of 13 championships. You know what I'm saying? He's got more than two three-peats. If we're only going on championships alone, Jordan is not going to win that argument. You have to come with something better than that. So, in, in my opinion, it's not that Jordan was never unstoppable. He adjusted and became better. Worked harder at his game, and then he became invincible, even more invincible in going 6-0 in the finals. Nobody talks about when he used to lose to the Pistons all the damn time every year in the playoffs. Nobody talks about that. And I'm like, yo, that is a part of the guy's legacy. You can't just leave it out. You know, just like how people like to highlight LeBron's weaknesses 
and all of this other stuff i've never seen i'm like why is it that legitimately lebron can't be the goat because he's lost plenty of finals is that it and that's what i'm trying to say then you're not making a great argument or a counter argument for saying that jordan is the greatest then if that's all you're gonna go off of championships lebron has won some he's lost more than he won but that doesn't you can't go off championships alone plenty of great players as won and didn't lose plenty of great players pippen didn't lose in the finals either but you don't hear nobody talking about him right because he didn't hit the shot <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when it comes on to this man i love the fact that they are not going to really elevate anybody over anybody in in this anime or on this team particularly because yes kageyama is a genius and it's irritating sometimes to see how good he is at good he is at everything that they can do but at the same time what he loves to do is being a setter that doesn't mean he's a better spiker than asai no he's not in my opinion yeah he may be able to get up there he might be able to do a really good jump serve but is he the best at that thing probably not he's the best at the setting position that's for sure so you can have multiple talents this is one of the things that i struggled with when i was when when i was younger was that i was so multi-talented i didn't know what to do i didn't know what to focus on and it bit me in the ass later on in life you get what i'm saying until i was in like my late 20s when i really started to focus on what i really wanted to do and that's after you know what i'm saying all kinds of shit happened to me and you know me being me being homeless getting married divorce all of this other stuff that happened to me you get what i'm saying me having to pick myself up and be like yo i need to choose something make a business out of it and just focus up and then if anything else comes along then i can jump on that train train and try to master it too but you can't be a you can't be a swiss knife that can't that that can't that has no master right you can't be a um a, a swiss knife you're just all over the place you don't know what to choose and i get it people who are born with a lot of talents and they're able to to um to um to do multiple things and be really good at it you know what i'm saying it's not a rare thing it's not a rare thing but at the same but at the same time if you don't learn how to focus on one of those things and maximize that master that before you move on to, to certain things right just like the saying says you know what i'm saying you you can't be a jack of all tra trades you can't be a, a, a jack of all trades and master of none it's not a good thing it's not a good thing to be a jack of all trades like you can do a lot of shit, but you have you have mastered none of them you get what i'm saying it's better to focus on one master that and then move on that's how i think anybody should approach anything if you have one talent master that shit like nothing else you can do you get what i'm saying and just run with it i see people who are great musicians right they can sing a little bit and they'll start saying i'm like dude why are you singing you can't really sing that well you know what I'm saying? But you, you that, but it's like, but that's what I want. That's what I, I'm like. Okay, that's what you want. But you're really, you're, you're even better at playing music. You're even better at playing music. People are out here making buku money just off of doing covers and stuff like that. I know this one girl on, on YouTube that I follow. She gets hundreds of millions of views on her covers, and she's singing, right? She makes her own tracks she makes her own tracks like a uh, uh, similar sounding tracks to the original music and she just sings over them and she makes buku money on youtube you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm trying to say man know what your talent is and master it it's not that she's not good at playing instruments because she plays instruments too but she knows her voice is her money she knows her voice she can master that so that's what i'm saying man so i'm really digging this anime and the lessons that they're trying to teach and that's just one of the lessons that it's trying to teach now um you know they've taught me a couple of things past the persistence 
and you know the contrast between the different players in the anime is pretty cool man so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i've been rambling on for a long time now um so yeah your boys gotta go anyways leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts i'll see you guys later peace